Do you have a business that serves your local community? Are you trying to take your business to the next level? Do you struggle to understand your business numbers? Well, stop working harder thinking you're going to make more money. That's not how it works. Each week we go over how to understand and leverage your business numbers to not only create more sales, but more importantly, how to create more profits. Remember, it isn't about how much you sell. It's about how much you keep at the end of the day. My name is Tammy and I'm on a mission to help badass business owners like your yourself, put more money in your pocket. So whether you're a badass or a badass in the making, let's get this party started. Hey, badass business owners, welcome back to the show. It is Thursday. It's Know Your Numbers Day. And today I want to talk about having that goal in mind that you want to make at the end of the year and how you can kind of figure out what it is that you need to do to be able to achieve it. Uh, for many of you, you uh, take your pay a couple different ways. There's those of you that make your pay because you're an hourly employee in your business and you're basically taking your cut out of the cost of goods. And because we're being better at what it is that we do, we have realized that our doer, quote unquote, doer time should be part of cost of goods. If you're new to the show and have no clue what it is that we're talking about, you need to make sure you listen to the past episodes and the future episodes because we're going to continue to talk about this. But there's also a big chunk of you guys that just take the money that's left after the business. You know, you, you take the money. This is how majority of you work. You take the money in, you pay the pe- your vendors for the products and services. If you went to Home Depot or whatever the case may be, or you got some items shipped to you and then you pay your bills and your whatnot. And then you say, hey, look, this is the pile of money that's left over. This is the money that I get to keep. And you just take everything that's left at the end of the day. That's how we don't want to do it, but that's how the majority of you do do it. Uh, Because what we want to do is we want to be better at understanding our business numbers so we can make smarter business decisions. And uh, so we're going to, we got to kind of look at our problem here a little bit differently uh, because we want to do it from the standpoint of, we know our business numbers, therefore we can figure out how much money we can make. So bear with me. I know I just threw a lot of junk out there, but we're going to kind of try to walk through a little bit how you can do this from a different point of view. A lot of times what we do is we say, hey, I want to, and I'm just going to pick a number. I'm going to say $50,000. Let's just say you want to make $50,000 in your business. For some of you, you're going to be like, oh my God, that's way more money than I make today. And for some of you, you're going to be like, oh my God, if I made $50,000, I'm in trouble because I make a lot more than that. It doesn't really matter. Substitute whatever your number is. This is just for an example to be able to do for people. Okay. So let's just say that we want to make uh $50,000 for the year. Now, what you want to do is you want to do more than just say, hey, I need to go sell uh, as much as I can until I can make that $50,000. I've got I've got to do this. Well, that's not the way we want to do it. All right. Nor do we want to do it in a standpoint that we have so many bills that we've got to make $2,000 a month just to pay our bills. And that's how a lot of people also make their decisions is they work from how much they need to have to be able to pay their bills. Well, if we're doing $50,000, I'm going to do some math as we go. So just bear with me, but I'll do it for you. You don't have to whip out your calculator. Let's just say that you want to do $50,000 a year. That's going to give you about four, a little over $4,000, $4,166 to be exact, but it's going to be about $4,000 a month that you're going to try to make. Uh, and profits, that's what you want to try to get out of your business. Now, What we don't want, we already talked about, is the fact that we don't want you just to sell, sell, sell so that you can get that kind of money at the end of the day. I want you to use your business numbers to be able to understand it. Now, because you are a doer, majority of you are a doer in your business, you're going to have where you have wages that you take out as a doer, as an, uh, an employee of the business, because you're capturing that in your cost of goods. And then there's some of you that run businesses where you're not necessarily being paid as a doer in your business. You are just getting it from the profits at the end of the day. So I'm going to look at both examples here. So bear with me. So let's assume first and foremost that you're getting paid as an employee in your business because you are the only employee in your business. Or maybe you have a part-time person and your ultimate goal is to get away from that stage of it. But for now, 
you are getting paid mainly out of your cost of goods. That's how you're mainly getting paid is as a doer in the business. So let's just say that you work, you know, I know you guys all work more than 40 hours a week, but typically you pay yourself 30 hours a week, 40 hours a week as an employee in the business. And I'm just going to use the 40 hours. That's the number that people tend to be the most comfortable with and it helps with the math. So let's just say you pay yourself in your business as an employee out of cost of goods. That's how you pay yourself. Let's just say you do 40 hours a week and we're going to say you do it 50 weeks out of the year. You close the business down a couple weeks a year to take a vacation. Now you may or may not do that. Just add the weeks if you need to. But for our math, we're just going to assume 40 hours a week for 50 weeks. And if you add, multiply those two together, that tells you that's 2,000 hours. Okay, 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, 2,000 hours. Now let's also assume that you pay yourself, say, $15 an hour. So 2,000 hours times $15 an hour means you're taking out of the business $30,000 as an employee of that business. All right, so out of your cost of goods is coming out $30,000. Now remember, our goal is to get to $50,000. So in order for you to be able to go from $30,000 to $50,000, we got to come up with that other $20,000. Now I'm going to assume you don't want to work 80 hours a week and start paying yourself that way. No, that's not the right way to do it. What you need to do then is make up the other 20,000 as owners draw out of the profits of the business from the bottom line of the business. In which case, now we have to figure out how much do you have to do in business to not only pay yourself the 40 hours a week, but how do you need to run your cost of goods and your expense line to get to your profit line? So this way you create the $20,000 you need in owner's draw to get the additional 20,000. Well, if you're paying attention to your P&L and you know your percentages, which is what we preach here, right? Here on the Badass Business Owner Podcast, we preach that you know your numbers. So if you know what your cost of goods are every month and you know what your expenses are every month and you know that your profits run a certain percentage. So in our fake business here, our business owner knows that they make profits of 20%. So at the end of the day, when they follow their profit and loss statement all the way down, they know their profits tend to run 20%. Well, guess what? They can take that 20% and the fact they know they need to get additional $20,000 in profits to the bottom line for that owner's draw piece to combine, they can figure out what they need to do in sales in order to create this $50,000 a year that they want. Because remember, the first 30 is coming from their cost of goods. So they need to figure out the additional $20,000 from the profit line. Well, if you take the $20,000 and you divide it, okay, this is where it gets tricky. You take the $20,000 and you divide it by that 20% that our profit line tends to run. Well, guess what? It's going to come out to $100,000 in sales. So this business owner knows they have to create $100,000 in uh, sales to create that 20% profit line that they typically get, which is then going to give them the $20,000 to go along with the $30,000 they make under their cost of goods. Now they're able to get their 50%. And I know that sounds really complicated and it's going to sound complicated until you start diving into your numbers. But I promise you, once you start diving into your numbers and this starts to make a little bit more sense, you can see why knowing those numbers can help you hit whatever profit goal or sales goal or uh, profitability that you want to take out of your business. And you can use this in the future because as you hire people and your profitability line changes and the amount of money you take out of your business changes, you can use these two numbers to tweak and modify to figure out how much does your profitability line have to go up in order for you to bring on another employee. So that's the way you're doing paying, you're getting paid less out of the doer's wages, but your owner's draw portion out of the profits has to go up. And how do you use that number? Now, it's okay if you're confused or whatnot. I just, my main thing that I'm trying to plant a seed 
in, I'm going to do another example here for those of you that, that don't have cost of goods, your, your wages aren't in there. I'm going to give you another example in a minute. But my main thing here is I want you guys to start thinking and realizing that this is why I want you to know your numbers so well, because if we're going to have these goals for what it is that we want to get paid and make out of the business, it all starts with us understanding our numbers. It's not about us taking a wild ass gas every single day and chasing every single job that we do, hoping and praying that we're going to get to the money that we want to do. We have to have a plan. We have to understand what it is that we're doing. Because if you know you need to create this $100,000 in profit, then we know or in sales that we did in our last example, we know that we must continue to hit our 20% bottom line profit, which is going to knock out some jobs that we're going to chase. And we start to think differently because now we're going to say, hey, I'm not going to chase all these little tiny jobs. I'm going to chase some of these bigger jobs that are a lot more profitable for me. So this way I can get there faster without having to work 50 million hours to get there. Knowing our numbers helps us make different decisions in what it is that we're going to do. Now, one more example that I want to hit really quick is let's just say that you don't uh, get paid out of cost of goods. That's not how your business is. You don't make an hourly wage for doing it. You kind of, and, and a lot of times our brick and mortars will fall into this because they're not necessarily part of cost of goods as much as because they're running this business. So they really get paid out of the profits of the business as an owner's draw. Uh, yours is going to be the same thing, except for your numbers are going to be a little bit different. Because now, let's just say same business, you make 20% profitability in your business, and you want to get that same 50000 out. Well, yours is going to look a little bit different. Now you're going to take the $50,000, and you're going to divide it by that same 20% that your profitability tends to go, and it tells you that your total sales must be $250,000. You need to do a quarter million in sales. All right. So now you can see that, you know, you know exactly what your number needs to be as well, because you get paid just solely off of the bottom line. So for those of you that just get paid off of the bottom line of your business, all you're going to do is take the the goal that you have, in our case, the $50,000 and divide it by what percent of your profits that you tend to get. In our case, we divided it by the 20%, which is what our profitability tends to be. And we're able to come up with our $50,000. Uh, now there's a different number for everybody. Everybody's going to have different numbers that they're using, but here's the key. You can't do any of this if you don't even know your numbers, if you don't even understand them. You know, this is the main reason why I, I, I have that course, know your business numbers so, so cheap because I want you to understand this stuff. Okay. Because I want you to understand that it can be really simple. You can watch the free YouTube videos that I've been putting out. It's going to help you. I don't care how you get the information, just listening to podcasts, going to the YouTube, trying the court, whatever. I just need you guys to start understanding these numbers because if you don't understand the numbers, you can't make the right choices. You can't figure out how to get to that profitability goal. You're going to continue to chase numbers and continue to chase job after job and hoping and praying that you're going to hit the target that you want to do. Hopefully you can see by some of our, our couple of examples today, you can know the numbers and you can figure it out. Okay. Almost every single one of you can show me your PNL, tell me what your goals are, and I can give you your numbers in the first five to 10 minutes. Now that's because I've looked at tons of these things, but I promise you, even you can figure this out with some little basic understanding. Matter of fact, when people call me and we go through some coaching calls, one of the first things we do is try to understand these numbers so that you can have those aha moments. You can see what the potential is that you can do. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes, we, we we have to have a crying session at first because guess what? You're not making nearly as much money as you thought you were or that number's really small and you got a lot of work to do, but that's okay. Because here's the thing. If you don't know where you're starting, where are you to go? If you don't realize where you are, you, you, you're you just going to keep going in the spinning in circles and going nowhere. So it's good to identify the bad. It's good to identify the the place that where you are starting, even if that is rock bottom. And even if that is in a hole that you didn't realize you were even in, because you got to know where you are to be able to go to where you want to be. And if you think about our last episode, we really talked a lot about, you know, having that vision and that goal and that dream of where we want to take our business, but you got to know where you are to be able to go towards it. Um, because if you don't know what city you're waking up in, how are you going to know what direction to go to go 
get to New York, for example. All right, you got to know where you're starting and that's where it's helped. So just know my main point for today's episode is just to remind you that you can use your business numbers. You can use that profitability percentage to figure out what it is that you need to do in sales to be able to create the profits that you need. So between what you pay yourself out of your cost of goods, plus what you pay yourself out of your profitability, If you have a target that you would like to get your personal profit to, you can absolutely figure it out using your numbers. And that was the biggest takeaway that I want you to get from today's episode. And if you need any help with that, um, you know, like I said, some people will email me and they'll just say, hey, uh, this is kind of what I was thinking. And they do the math in the email and they send it to me and they ask me my two cents and I answer them back. I have no problem doing that. If you want to just shoot it to me at Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y, at localsmallbusinesscoach.com. You'll see it in the show notes, Uh, but I'll be glad to answer your question. I don't have an issue with that. Okay. And sometimes people need a little bit more. No problem. We take care of that as well. But I just want you guys to start thinking and realizing that you can figure out these numbers. You can hit any goal you possibly want. You just may have a lot of work to get there and that's fine. That's what we're here for every week to be able to help you get there. And don't forget to subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. If this is one of your first episodes or you kind of hit and miss, but you don't have it subscribed yet, hit that subscribe. And by the way, oh my gosh, I I, I meant to mention this on the last episode. I uh, went into, what was I trying to do? I, for whatever reason, I was on uh, iTunes because I was looking up something and I had to look up something for the show. Oh, because I was looking at the, uh, the description thing and I started looking at the reviews that you guys have left. Oh my God. You guys had me almost crying. I was so happy at some of the feedback that you guys have been leaving for the show and on the reviews and the five-star reviews and just, you know, made my heart sing. And then when I was reading the comments and how the show is helping you and and whatnot, it just, it, it, it made me so happy because honestly, uh, every Sunday when I wake up to do these shows, I, uh, you know, it, it's been a long week for me as well, because as you know, I have two businesses. And every Sunday when I get up and, and I come to do this, I'm like shuffling in here, grabbing the dogs and we come in here and, and whatnot. And then the minute I just hit record and start talking, I just get so fired up and so excited for you guys to be part of your journey and everything. And it just, uh, it's it's an amazing feeling. And, and to know that you guys are feeling it on the other side, and that it's helping you and it's helping you achieve your goals and your dreams. I, it just warms my heart. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, because without you guys there wouldn't be a show and the feedback just keeps me going and I'm so glad to be to be a a, a little part of what it is that you're accomplishing it really makes me happy all right with that I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I have things to do today and I start to finish up and edit these these uh, suckers so with that I will talk to you guys on the next episode bye for now Hey, before you go, if you're looking to learn more about your business numbers, then check out the Know Your Business Numbers course, where we take a deeper dive into the key numbers, the calculations, the reports that will help you take your business to the next level. My mission is to help everyone love their business numbers. Yes, even including those of you that hate math. So much profit is hidden inside of your business numbers, and I want you to create some awesome profits. So check out the link in the show notes or head on over to the knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. Once again, knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. Come join me. Let's go ahead and work on building your profits.